Hey guys, this is Mac Kids 101 and um, many people have noticed that um, Google came out with a new web browser because if you go to um, more and then you say even more they have a new web browser right there and they say it's secure fast and yeah but it's a as you know it's a Google Chrome a web browser for Windows and um, uh, I don't know how well it works on Windows apparently it works pretty well most people still prefer Firefox but many people wanted to test this out but they only have a Mac and they want to test it out on a Mac so if you go to Google's page Google Chrome Mac right there it says that it's not quite out yet Google Chrome for Mac but you can sign up and find out when it's out you can just type in your email address and say sign me up this page has been up on Google for months now and many people have became become impatient and are wondering when they can finally get Google Chrome on their Mac. So the solution is not completely here, it's slightly here. And so the thing is, um, Pete, there's a company, it's called uh, Crossover Mac. And these people make, um, make it so you can run Windows applications on your Mac. And they um, took Google Chrome and they made a Mac version of it and they call it Crossover Chromium. And so now I'm just going to be showing it to you and you can tell me what you think about it. So it says that it did not, um, I don't know why, but it always asks me, it always tells me it did not shut down correctly. So I'm just going to X that. A cool thing is it knows what websites you go to a lot and what websites you like to go to and um, it shows you what your websites you go to the most so I think that's really cool um, that's one of their best features another thing that they do really well is um, tabs the way it loads in a cool way and um, yeah apparently tabs are one of the best things about Google Chrome so you can just click on one of these and it'll go to it now flash I could not get flash to work on this because it's a Windows file also, um, you are going to have to scroll with this little scroll bar because the multi-touch scrolling does not, it's kind of glitchy. Not like in Firefox if I like go to our YouTube page, which is slightly long. And I scroll down, it's a nice smooth scroll down. Here, it's very glitchy and it bounces up and down. Okay. Kind of like here, if I um, move it back and forth, it like bounces around glitchy, and if I open Firefox, but that's just because it's not made to work on Mac, Google Chrome, yet. So, also, this does minimize, like, a Mac application. Like, I can minimize this, and yeah. And it works well with Exposé, too where I can just press F11, it'll move to the side. However, it does not work with spaces. So if I have several windows open in here, new window, and I have several finder windows, uh, if I press F8, I can see the finder windows, but I cannot see these. So um, that's just kind of the way it was built. You won't be able to um, to see it. So now I'm just going to X a couple of them so you don't have a million of them. And um, you won't be able to move it because it's kind of like how it's not a window. So if I, for example, if I open the force quit menu, it's not like an actual window. Meaning if I go into spaces, if I go into spaces, there we go. Why isn't spaces loading? There we go. It, it won't recognize this window. Okay. So, uh, another cool feature is that you can, um, well, uh, again, flash does not work, so, um, and your highlight color is going to be this annoying blue. Well, I don't know if you like it. I kind of don't like it that much. So, um, the history, your, um, that you can clear your history. Uh, I like clearing my history because, um, otherwise people um, who own websites can get a lot of information about you based on um, things that you filled out on websites and um, the the new windows that they work pretty well and basically 
this this works pretty well on your Mac. I mean, uh, unless you're gonna go on Flash websites such as um, I don't know. Uh, another cool feature is that um, with let's say Firefox, I um, type in pony. It'll Google search pony. So it's the same thing with this. If I type in pony, it'll Google search pony. But because th because this does not have a Google search bar, so I can just type in cat, red, dog, whatever, and it'll Google search whatever I said. But if I type in actual web browser, just HTTP colon slash slash, uh, let's say. You don't even actually need the HTTP colon slash slash. You can just type in um, Adobe.com and it will load Adobe.com. And Adobe also does have a version of their website without Flash, so that way it, their website looks good without Flash and with Flash. So um, I just think that's pretty cool. Um, just feel free to get, leave feedback, what you think of Crossover Chromium. There will be, again, there will, will be a link to download this in the description of the video. And, um, yeah, just tell me what you think. Okay, thank you very much, and have a nice day. Goodbye.